What is up everyone? JD here. I hope you're doing well today. I got a real special unboxing for you, so let's get into it. All right, so I have a knife here that I first saw at Blade Show Atlanta this past year. And I went back to the table twice because I was really kicking the tires on it. And I wasn't 100% sure it was one of the ones that I wanted to pick up. Buyer's remorse or lack of buyer's remorse. Later on, I got home, realized that I kind of wish I would have grabbed it. And then even more so when I saw that there was a little bit of a discount. It was running about $10 less at Blade Show. So lesson learned for me, but it is one that I am very excited to have picked up. Um, I don't want to show it just yet because I actually want to pull it out of the package. And today's unboxing is going to be a little bit different too because coming out of the package, I'm going to do the disassembly right away because I want to check it for some skiffs and I think I want to throw those in there. So I am going to open it from the side get into the sleeve and the box there's nothing else in the sleeve and the box those of you familiar with the brand probably already know what it is but i am going to actually get into it upside down because the knife itself is on the patch on the other side so some more clues if you're familiar with this brand of what might be in here so and there you go all spoiled <laughs> all spoiled so this is vero's new model this is the nova i got number 95 and this one coming with magna cut steel and i believe best tech i believe best tech is the oe on this it could be rayot i will definitely look that up for the full review so everything's set to the side this is the nova guys really impressed me at blade show like i said i really wanted to pick one of these up and i just kicked the tires on it too much i should have just grabbed it while i was then and there um, and saved myself you know ten dollars on this particular model which one did i get got the belt satin i figured if i'm gonna go for it i might as well get the exact model that i want so i really liked this one it had you know what seemed like really good action good detent and i really love this design from vero it's a little different from his normal boxy mo that you typically see um, i think only one of his, one other model and i think i want to say it's the impulse as a little bit more rounded but this is more slender from him got that full length backspacer going on typical vero pocket clip here um and spoiler I did order some more goodies for it like the next day because I was kind of like, you know what, if you're going to go all in on this one and this is your favorite Vero uh, to date, you might as well just go all out. All right, I'm going to switch over really quick. Did y'all hear that? One sec. Mm, super clicky. Um, it is centered. I do want to check that before I get into the disassembly, but I'm going to go ahead and switch everything over and get it ready for the disassembly. All right, got everything laid out here. Hopefully it's easy for you guys to see. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start by removing the pocket clip. This is a T8. I do recommend Weeha bits, guys, for your disassembly, just because they're hardened bits that tend to hold up longer and tend to uh, stri strip less. So titanium hardware. I'm gonna move my circuit board cleaning Q-tip up there and I can feel the pocket clip kind of moving around. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that out of the way. And then I'm just gonna finish the disassembly from the pocket clip side to make it a little bit easier for the disassembly and reassembly and hopefully less hardware that needs to be removed. So I do feel that other one on this side spinning. Oh, maybe not. Thought I felt something, but it might have just been the way my finger was resting on it. There we go. So that is the second body screw. This one here should be the stop pin. I do feel that screw on the other side moving slightly, but it is coming apart with just a little bit of finger strength. All right. Ooh, I forgot to remove the pivot screw. I'm just so excited. Can you tell? All right. That was not tight at all. So I wonder if that would have ended up moving on me. We'll go ahead, break this down. I'm going to use this to, actually, I'm going to do an unboxing shot, so I don't even need to do that. Got my skiff tool here to measure the bearings and the pivot. And the pivot is going to have to come out. Looks like it's a six millimeter. It's pretty beefy. 
yep six millimeter and i don't know how i put the tool down six millimeter one sixteenth so let me grab some of those i do have them i'm pretty sure six millimeter these are all fives that's three sixteenth six millimeter what did i say one sixteenth oh that's my last one that is my last one i'm gonna have to order some more of these i didn't realize i was almost out i have multi-row but these are my last of the um skiffs here for the six millimeter one sixteenth so i definitely need to go online and order some of those i'm just going to mark that these are the factory bearings for the nova all right let me set that to the side and put the factory bearings in here comes uh you know moderately lubed nothing crazy i'll put this with the factory bearing stuff and then i'm going to hang on to this and tonight i will go online and order some more six millimeter what yeah one sixteenth i was like wait is that right six millimeter one sixteenth All right, let's go ahead and get cleaning everything up. Did these make a track? Nope, we caught it in time. No track there. I am just going to fill. Zeros usually come a little light on the um, lock bar, so I'm just going to force it over just a little. I like just a little bit more crispiness on my detent ball, on my detents, sorry. All right, looking good there. Blade feels sharp. There's your uh, number 95. I don't see the blade steel anywhere. I see Vero on the top. I don't see the blade steel labeled anywhere on here or anywhere else. I'm going to have to do this all over again when the goodies come in. You'll see what's coming in. I'll definitely share that with you guys. All right, let's see here. Ooh, very dirty inside the detent ball hole. The combination of this should should really make a big difference. All right, let's clean up the pivot. The good news is it's a sterile pivot, and it doesn't move freely and the D-shape faces the rear. Oh, almost forgot to throw some lube on here first. All right, lube of choice. I use hop scun oil. I would hop, recommend, you know, hops easily to anyone that's looking for a recommendation, but, you know, there's so many good options out there, it would be hard to get one wrong. All right, so I, what I'm doing now is just working it on the pivot to have a nice thin film on there go ahead and face that towards the back drop that down so i think we're facing the rear i'm going to grab one of my six millimeter six millimeter one sixteenth skiffs and just work in a little bit of lube here remember i haven't tracked it so i didn't really need to uh, spin the washers around or anything like that and once i know that i've got a good coating on there I'm going to go ahead and grab the other one. Move these out of the way. And drop the drop the blade down so that it's hitting that. That's interesting. So that is the stop pin, but it actually is hitting the backspacer. So hopefully that titanium has been hardened. Very curious to see how that actually holds up. I didn't get a chance to um, talk to Joseph Vero about his design only because he was super busy. Like his booth is always super popular. So a little drop there. I'm going to just double check and make sure that I cleaned the stop pin. I'm sorry, the lock bar insert off. 
And I'm hoping because it's such a thin piece of titanium that that um, stop pin with the titanium isn't going to soften and weaken too soon. All right, let's see here. All right, that feels good. Let's go ahead and drop the stop pin bolt in. Oh my. There we go. That feels good. And then we got this Chicago style screw. Go ahead and throw that down on here. There we go. Don't over tighten those either. Um, that's weird. It almost looks like there should be a pin there, but there's nothing there. Nothing fell out that I saw. Mm, that's odd. We'll see if the kit that I ordered for this one comes with a pin in it or anything like that. And then I'll just reach out to Joseph and ask him. Or maybe that is like a suction hole to prevent it from... Um, all right, dead center still, even after the disassembly and the skiff install. My goodness, is it a guillotine. All right, so I still got a little play. That's really tight. It might be too tight. Still centered. No play. And uh, we'll keep an eye on it while I'm, you know, carrying and handling the Nova to see if it walks out any and if I need to throw any thread locker on there. And I'll make a mental note to make sure that I update everyone on that information when I get to the actual review. But let me clean this up and we'll wrap up the uh, unboxing. All right, so that is everything cleaned up and installed. Again, I, this is kind of my normal process when I get something in that I want to disassemble or can disassemble. If it's passed around, I usually cannot disassemble it. But this is really my process. Um, I'll do like the what's new video and everything like that. Um, and then, you know, I'll immediately open it and do the disassembly video first, get it all cleaned up and lubed up and everything if it's my own, and then carry it for a little while and do the review and kind of post it in the reverse order. So you're getting kind of the true method to my madness here on what I'm doing with these when they typically come in. But man, this is really good. I'm so glad I was able to snag one. I think this is gonna be one of his more popular models. It's a great, everyday carry size i'm able to easily get four fingers on it got a nice uh, choke up position getting you pretty close to the edge of that magna cut steel and we'll definitely put it through the paces and see what the magna cut is all about let me see really quick if it says on its on its website i think this is rayot so it doesn't specifically say it on the website so i might just reach out to vero specifically because i also don't see the uh range for the heat treat on the magna cut so i'd like to know i know best tech has been really hitting about 63 and just short of that on their magna cut so if this is ray out i would just be curious to see you know what their target range is for that but let me know if you have any questions about the nova this will definitely get posted uh before the review so there won't be any after disassembly but there will be one for the hardware kit that i ordered for this one which i'm super stoked about i've never done one before my first one and i just felt like this really warranted that anyway thanks for hanging out to this point of the video it does help the algorithm shout out to my channel members for that extra layer of support that you provide i really do appreciate it i hope all you guys have a fantastic week i'll catch you on the next one peace